Welcome to 12 Scholars with me, Bob Buckley. I thought I'd share a few insights and thoughts on checklists. Now, they're not rocket science, but for anyone who's dealing with complicated processes or things that have gone out of control, then checklists can really help you. So here's my checklist for things I need to cover in this video. We've got um, everything to do with you know, equipment, content and editing. So they're the three things I'm going to run through in this little short video. So in terms of equipment, when, when I'm videoing anything like this, I need to make sure we've got the camera level and set up. We've got all the right angles set up. Um, I know whether I'm kind of talking in the middle or whether I need to be kind of offset with that kind of magic third, two thirds up, one third across. We also need to make sure we've got the uh, lighting. So I've got one, two, three lights all set up around me and make sure they're at the right angle. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm coming across OK and not too bright or too dull uh, in that sense. Once we've got the camera, we've got the lighting, we need to make sure we've got the sound set up. So I'm using a, I'm using a particular microphone, which is a uh, Rode um, Boom mic, which is up here. So that's our, that's our microphone, which I'm using for, for these videos. I need to make sure that's set up. I need to make sure I do a pre-record setup. So I'm using a digital interface with a, uh, a Zoom H6, going through Audition, going through another piece of software, linking with the camera. That's got cables running out of it. Um, I've also got underneath this camera, I've got an iPad uh, all set up to help me kind of use screen share and kind of split the screen. Well, lots of equipment there. Um, Here's my other equipment uh, you know, checklist here. So talk about lighting, talk about sound, uh, the recording check camera, and then got to audition. So even though we're recording this through a piece of software, I need to make sure it is recording correctly. Uh, using another piece of software called Ecamm Live, and need to make sure that that's recording and saving in the right place. And then I've got Duo Display, which is, enables me to use my iPad as a second screen for my main computer. So they're all the things in terms of equipment we need to uh, go through as a checklist. Then we've got content. So for those who've been following our journey, we've been creating a brand new course all for leadership development. And it's called Make Excellence Your Mission. So we've really gone to town on this to try and put everything into it, um, all our years of experience. We've researched it thoroughly. We've gone out, we've interviewed people. We've pulled everything from the insights from our you know, journals one and two. There's a lot of content that has gone into it and we've filtered it all and come up with seven chapters, you know, a lot of stuff. In terms of then you know, summarising all this, all this information, we've got our own checklist uh, which goes into each chapter. So we've got the one course, you know, the one module, and within that there's seven individual chapters. So within them, each chapter needs to be able to stand on its own two legs. So that's, one, that's, that's the first thing. You know, is, it, is it big enough to kind of stand on its own two legs? Then within each chapter, there's got to be three big ideas that's kind of interwoven within the, that chapter. And can they stand on their own you know, two legs? And each of those big ideas needs to be mutually exclusive and critically evaluative as well. So they need to be me see. So we've got our big ideas. We've then got our 12 key behaviours. So for every chapter, there's 12 key behaviours that will help you get from A to B and help you, you know, make excellence your mission. For each of those behaviours, they've all been researched. We've got stories behind them all. We've all got you know, icons, the graphics, the titles, uh, the formatting for them. Uh, we've really gone to town. And, and hopefully that will come through in what you'll start seeing now appear on the website and on, on this YouTube channel. With those 12 ways, they all need to kind of you know, knit together. So um, the, the, we need to kind of you know, take you on a journey from one to 12 um, and you know, nothing kind of you know, too out of the ordinary there. Within each chapter, I'm looking down here at another, another checklist. Uh, within each chapter, there's then a final checklist and it's, a, it's like a course summary that pulls it all together where we summarize the 12 behaviors, the three big ideas and kind of wrap it together. And then finally, within each of the workbooks, we have a micro action. So there's 12 micro actions per workbook. And they're things that help you get from A to B in an incremental way. So these are very simple actions that you can implement immediately. 
So seven chapters, 12 behaviors, that's 84 ways that you can get from A to B. So that's kind of gone into the course content. The next thing on here is about editing. So we've done the content creation, we've got all the equipment set up, we recorded our videos, we've got the workbooks. How do we actually edit or certainly kind of edit the videos? Well, I've got my third checklist, fourth checklist you know, here now. When, when, we've gone, when we've got the video, we make sure it's saved in the right place. And, and that's really key. If you're ever doing any creative work, photography, videos, uh, files, make sure you've got your own kind of um, configuration set up and your, old your own folder directories set up. That really does help. So make sure it's saved. We then use Adobe Creative Suite. And we use that for most of the things that we'll edit. So we'll start off by using you know, Premiere Pro, We've got Audition, which is for sound, and we're able to kind of filter out and you know, really kind of you know, improve the sound quality digi digitally. So even though we've got the uh, microphones, we can then enhance it further with using software. After Audition, we've got uh, Adobe After Effects, where we'll pull the videos in, we'll pull the, the sound in, and then we can add extra slides for the intro, the outro, and anything else we want to kind of build into, build into the, these videos. Once we've done the After Effects, that needs to be exported because at this point, the file's like three gigabytes and one of them is about three and a half, four gigabytes in size. Now, what we want to do is make sure that you can watch these videos, watch these tutorials on your, on your phone, on your iPad, on your, on, on your, when you're out and about or on your, on, your, on your laptop. So they need to be a reasonable size. So we then use a piece of software called Media Center that takes the, the giant size file and compresses it into a, a readable size that enables you to kind of watch it on the go. So that's Media Center. Other things, we've got uh, Photoshop. So for any um, stills, we'll use Photoshop uh, and also Lightroom uh, for a bit more kind of clever science behind the photography that we're using. We've then got uh, Vimeo, which we use as a hosting platform and we can do editing within that. And that enables us to place the video in the cloud and then relay it back to our website and also to the, you know, the, the, the core, uh, yeah, our learning platform, the actual course. So that's Vimeo we use. We've also then got YouTube. So you'll be watching this you know, possibly on YouTube. There's editing and there's things you can do within YouTube that'll help you, you know, and help your experience of this. Following that, so we kind of run out of space here. We're now kind of on, going down a, a horizontal checklist. We've got the website, so things we can do on the website in terms of editing and make sure we've got everything you know, set up right. And then, um, yeah, there's, there's a few other kind of bits and bobs, kind of minor stuff we don't need to worry about. So lots of stuff there. So that's all, that's just on the editing side. So we've covered there quite a, quite a bit when it comes to setting the equipment up. We've then gone through a checklist for you know, the actual content creation. And then we've also got a, a quality assurance process, which I haven't even mentioned. Uh, we've got Sarah helping us uh, in the States uh, on our quality assurance and quality control. We've got the content and then we've got the actual editing. Now, that's going to be really hard if it's all in you know, my head, trying to remember what needs to go you know, step by step by step. So that's where a simple checklist comes in to make sure we're following the right steps and we don't end up doing a video with kind of you know, one collar in, one collar out, breakfast on my face, uh, using a different microphone, um, you're recording in the wrong place. All those mistakes have been made. We find those out. We've now got our checklist that we, that we follow and it really does work. And it's a slick, it's a slick business. And that really kind of works when, when I'm demonstrating now to other people. Sometimes I forget about everything that's gone on in the background. So the big thing here was all about checklists. If ever you find yourself um, and things getting out of control, things becoming complicated, then just create a simple checklist that'll keep you on track and it'll make the world of difference. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.